Good morning, Coyotes. I'm Chandler McKay. And I'm Brookie Williams. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the second season of The Rundown. Dang, Chandler, this is crazy. It's my last season of The Rundown. Oh my god, I remember when you and me were in Spanish together. I'm so excited to be on the staff this year. On this episode, we boogie down to the color dance, meet the new Spanish teacher, and get a first-hand look at the Ann Arbor concert held in memory of our classmate, Tyler Hedstrom. But before we get started, please stand and remove your hats for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag Coyotes, if you forgot to return any of your textbooks, please return them to the bookstore as soon as possible. The Dance Club will be meeting on September 20th from 2.30 to 4 in room 510. Dan says you'll be working on the parade routine from homecoming. Please let Mrs. Downing know if you plan to be in the parade. Speaking of dancing, reporters Michael Burgos and Garrett LeVar were at this year's color dance. Let's see how it went. Me and Michael interviewed student body president Chloe Temple and vice president Paige Ariaga on what they expect and the preparations involved. So the expectations for this dance was honestly a lot of people coming up. There are hopefully more than 150 show up. All the shirts sell out. And you know what? Everybody have a great time and everybody have fun um, like coyotes do. So preparations? Preparations. Uh, we pre we've been preparing this dance since before school started. So uh, it's taken a lot of time out of us, a lot of poster making to get the advertisement out that this color dance is happening so early in the year. Um, we're just hoping for a good turnout like it was last year. We asked senior Isaiah Jacobs on what he expects for this dance. Uh, I'm expecting a lot of people to show up. I'm just here to have fun and get lit, uh, dance with my friends, and just have a fun night. We had the opportunity to interview the DJ and ask him on his experience as a DJ and why he loves his job. What's going on? My name's Chris, DJ Crazy Jams, here at Combs High School Color Dance. Take a look at this right here. Look at this. It's going freaking amazing right now. Um, I love coming out to high schools and DJing. Um, this kind of dance makes me excited to come out here. Uh, you know, I love being here with the kids, them enjoying the music, enjoying the party, it makes me have a good time. Overall, the color dance was a complete success and everyone there had a fun time. This is Garrett and Michael signing out. Brookie, you went to the color dance, right? How was it? It was so much fun. Speaking of dances, homecoming is coming up. Ladies, do you want to get dolled up and go out for a night of fun? Guys, is there a special someone you've always wanted to ask out on a date? Well, what are you waiting for? The homecoming dance is on Saturday, September 30th, and this year's theme is Enchanted Forest. Come out for a magical night of fun. As always, this year we have a few new teachers at Combs. We sent reporter Crystal Grassi to speak with the new Spanish teacher, Mrs. Worth, find out a little bit about who she is and why she came to Combs. After many teachers left last year, we gained some new teachers. Miss Worth, a Spanish teacher, is one of them. We then asked her what brought her to Combs. Well, I have family uh, that lives in Arizona, um, and we have come to visit, um, and we just decided that we were going to make the big move. We asked Ms. Worth about how she felt about her experience okay. at the school so far. Well, so far I like it. Um, the students seem to be very supportive of their classmates. They seem to be very willing to do what I ask them in class, and they seem to be very enthusiastic about learning Spanish. Mrs. Worth likes using interactive teaching for her students. Like today in Spanish 1, we're doing subject pronouns, so we have a little song that we do for that. So if I can, I try to incorporate just, you know, a few minutes here and there of songs. 
Miss Worth has been speaking Spanish for about half her life and gained a lot of her experiences from traveling. Well, I'm originally from North Dakota and we don't have a lot of Spanish speakers there, but I did spend some time studying in Spain um, and I love to travel. So I've also been to Mexico. I've traveled with students to Spain and Costa Rica. And whenever I can go to a Spanish speaking country, I take advantage of that. Through her travels, Miss Worth has gained fond memories. Well, I have a lot of travel memories. Um, most of the time in the summer, I travel somewhere. Um, but I would say probably the last trip that I took with students to Spain uh, was one of the most memorable. Uh, we got to learn how to cook Spanish food, and the students really enjoyed that. So it was good for them to see how Spanish food is different than some of the foods that we have here, and just for them to get to make it, do some hands-on work with that. Mm -hmm. This was Crystal Grassi reporting for the Rendo. Thank you, Crystal. Now over to sports with Jordan and Juan. Thanks, Berkey. Hey, Coyotes. Juan and I are here to bring you up to date in the latest Coyote sports. The girls volleyball won their season opener 3-1 against Spoon Valley, but has lost four straight since. They had a game last night against Casa Grande. Check Max Preps for the score. Varsity football is 1-2 on the season after picking up a 28-17 road win against Bradshaw Mountain. Speaking of the football team, the Coyotes take on St. Catholic tonight at 7 p.m. Hope to see you there. Guys, are you interested in playing basketball this winter? Preseason condition has already started. Meet Coach Larson in the weight room on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Come out and gain shape for a great season. Girls cross country in their first place finish at their meet at Seton Catholic, and the boys place third. Great job, cross country. Now back to you guys. If you missed the play yesterday, make sure to check out Drama's performance of 12 Angry Jurors at 7 p.m. tonight and tomorrow night in the library. $4 for students and $7 for adults. Tyler Hedstrom was a talented 17-year-old drummer that played in several bands, Hedstrom, Dirty Sunset, and Ann Arbor, in addition to her very own Combs Marching Band. After returning from his first West Coast tour with Ann Arbor, and just days before his start of his senior year, Tyler Hedstrom took his own life on July 26. On September 2nd, Ann Arbor hosted a memorial concert for Tyler at the Wasted Grain in Scottsdale. The Rundown was there to check out the show. Rundown reporters met at the Wasted Grain in Scottsdale to document the memorial concert and to speak to Tyler's brother, Alex Hedstrom. Tonight, um, we're here for my brother's tribute. Um, he took his own life about a month ago, and he was playing with the band Ann Arbor um, a couple weeks before he passed on their tour, on their whole West Coast tour. So tonight, Ann Arbor is gonna dedicate their whole show to Tyler, and we're gonna get up there and play as Headstrom, too. This is definitely nothing new when it comes to uh, having something to play for um, and having something really heavy um, in the back of, of, all of, of all the fun, you know, being on stage. But doing this like this without Tyler, it's a whole nother thing and it's hard. Uh, but it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be for Tyler and he's got all of his friends here. Literally, it's gonna be packed. All of his buddies, I'm sure. <laughs>
He always gave me the ability and everybody else in the band the ability to be their best musician because he was that good. He was the whole backbone of the entire band. But he was so good and so confident and just so um, well rehearsed that it was never it was never weird for me to just get up there and do things that I haven't done before. He always kept going and he handled things like a professional and that's the thing is he was a professional and that was that was my biggest thing. One of the biggest things that um, hurt the most is the fact that like uh, when we found out everything that happened um, we didn't get a phone call we didn't get a single phone call uh, from him and it's not like he you know, we don't, we don't know if he felt like he could have reached out for help. Because if you're in that position, that, you, you, you ask for help. That's what people are for. And, and we're all here for you. Nobody wants to be in that position and nobody wants anybody to be in that position. So, you know, just say something. Just bring something up to your, to your friends, you know. Go talk to anybody. Just go out and talk to a stranger even, you know. People will talk to you. If you reach out or reach out to other people who you think might be in that position, we may be playing shows for a whole better reason than something like this. And that one conversation can change it all. So for my first steps to the rundown, how to compare to your linky co-host last year? I mean, I guess you're better. Just kidding, you are better, Chandler. <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in to the first episode of the season. We look forward to returning to your screens in two weeks. That's right, a new show every two weeks. So from all of us here at the rundown, have, have a, a great, great weekend. weekend. So gonna get to grab it. Go pop a phone, play it, pop, pop it for me. Turn around and drop it for a plan. Drop, drop it for me. I'll rent some beach house in Miami. Wake up with no jammies. Lives to tell for dinner. Julio served that scampi. You got it if you want it. Got, got it if you want it. Said you got it if you want it. Take